Hey, the Cox. Thanks for joining us on Around the Home. Well, this morning, this was not the video that I planned on making, okay? But I'm sure there's people out here that need this video. So I woke up to dog diarrhea everywhere, okay? Downstairs here. Um, and honestly, it's kind of my own fault because my German Shepherd tried to wake him up at five o'clock in the morning. He was dancing around, um, wanted to go out, but I thought it was just because he saw a cat in the backyard. We're not, we don't wake up till like 6.30, so five o'clock, I'm like still trying to get the rest of my sleep in. So I'm like, I don't, got, I, I don't have the energy for if the, you know, he's chasing a cat in the backyard and going crazy. But this is what it, what it actually was, okay? Uh, so that's my own fault. So I'm gonna show you guys how I clean this up. This may not be the way you guys decide to do it, but I'll show you a way that, that works and works, works well for me. First of all, let's get some uh, Walmart bags and paper towels and just you just got to pick up the the big the big sections um yeah it's gross try not to smear it into the carpet even further this being diarrhea and not just a turd it's hard got a bigger one over there You can see it's, he obviously squatted and was just walking and dribbling. That's disgusting, I know. But these are so small, I'm not gonna try to pull them out because I'm afraid it's just gonna push it into the carpet. So we're moving on to the next stage. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little spot treatment onto some of these areas, especially ones where I was able to kind of pick up a little bit more. Now, I know this bottle says Resolve on it. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, spray and wash. It's actually a Mr. Clean uh, multi-purpose uh, cleaner, antibacterial that I, I mixed up to have as a spray down here. Uh, but the spray and wash wouldn't be bad. Whatever you use, make sure that none of your soaps conflict with each other. Being is because we're actually gonna be cleaning this up with bleach later, okay? So I know that Mr. Clean does not, you know, react negatively with bleach um, and nor should spray and wash, but you know, if you were to try to throw other cleaners out there of your own, they may react badly. You know, like ammonia and bleach can kill you, things like that. Um, and I would recommend not using vinegar. A lot of people, oh, I love vinegar. It cleans so good. It cleans certain things so good. Um, if you Google, will vinegar, you know, damage carpet, Google says no. Um, we had uh, the, little, the little dog had accidents down here um, last year, and I would, I, you know, I would spot clean those with uh, vinegar, pour some vinegar on there, give it a little bit of time and, and then clean it up. And it's actually caused the carpet to separate from the backing of the carpet, the top and the backing. And we actually had to have a section of the carpet replaced because of the vinegar. Uh, the acids in the vinegar actually destroyed. So I don't care what Google says, vinegar will absolutely destroy your carpet. Now, we used to say, well, what about bleach? You're gonna use bleach. You know, I'll, I'll be showing you how much I use and what I do with it here. You might be like, was well, that going to, you know, first of all, destroy the carpet. Um, I've been using that to clean down here for all the urine accidents and this and that. And not only have I found that it doesn't damage the carpet, but it's the only thing that gets out all the pet smells 100% and actually disinfects the carpet at the same time. Um, but it's a bit strong to use, so I would suggest opening some windows. Um, will it void your carpet warranty? Yes, but it will also void your carpet warranty if you shampoo your carpet yourself. Yeah. Even if you rent a nice machine and use their soap and do everything by the book, because I tried to get a warranty claim on them with carpet when I was separating, the fact that I didn't have a professional carpet company cleaning it, it already voided the warranty. They look for anything to void the warranty. Okay, they actually sent a team of people here uh, to actually take small samples inside the carpet um, to check for things uh, so that they can find ways to void the, car uh, the void the warranty on the carpet. So your warranty is gonna be voided on your, on your carpet one way or another. So. Anyways, let's spot treat this stuff. Now this is really important. Whatever carpet or rugs you may be shampooing or getting ready to clean, whether you're doing it with spots or you're doing it with a machine, you need to test out your soaps and make sure it's not going to affect that badly. Okay, make sure it's not gonna discolor it. And I've already tested these things down here. I know the soaps that I'm using does not affect it in any way, but to put some on a paper towel and a rag, um, you know, put it on, you know, do it in a corner, somewhere where it's gonna be out of sight, 
before you go and do this because you just got to, okay? Uh, most carpets are not affected by bleach, but some are. And, and some rugs are definitely affected by bleach, but some aren't. These ones here, like I said, I've already tested and I've already, actually, I just shampooed this whole downstairs two weeks ago before Thanksgiving uh, so that my family came in and it would smell good, look clean. And now I got this, okay. Okay, now it's soap time for my shampooer. All right, I told you guys I was gonna use a bleach and I really am. All right, the light's not shining right off this. This is your regular concentrated bleach you get in the laundry department, okay? It's, you know, good for the high efficiency machines. And I do find a scented bleach is better to use than not. So this is lemon scent is what they had. The lavender one works just as well. But I would say don't use the ones that are like the, uh, the no splash and stuff like that. The ones that are more like a gel because it causes more foaming inside the shampooer. Um, it makes it hard for it to use. So don't get the ones that are splashless. Get the more basic ones just scented. And we're actually going to, we've got a little tub here, and then we have our little soap thing inside where you're supposed to pour it, and it's got the lines. Um, I actually use, in cases like this, just as much bleach as I would use the carpet shampoo. Uh, maybe just a little bit less, okay? But it's, it's pretty close to the same amount. Then you wanna make sure your water is good and hot. Okay, now this part here is pretty standard. You're just gonna shampoo. For those of you who don't have a lot of experience shampooing, uh, it just slow pass. I normally try to make, when I got stains, spots, animal spots, I try to make at least three passes. And I consider a pass going forward and then coming back, and that's one pass. Most shampooers, the, um, the sprayer is behind where it sucks. So when you go forward, you're actually laying down the hot soapy water, and then when you come back, um, and you're still spraying, you're just adding more and then sucking it all up. So that's why I go forward first. I wish I was done, but not even close. That was just the initial run over of the big spots, okay? So I kind of targeted hit of those. Now I'm gonna do, because it was kind of all over this area, um, the whole area here, I'm gonna completely shampoo now. Three passes with the soap, uh, and then two passes with a hot water rinse, just plain water. You gotta rinse it out really good. You can't skimp on the rinse. You really should probably do it as much as you wash, but that's a lot of times overkill. Here, so you guys can see how bad the uh, first tank is. Now those two little rugs I had right here, especially the, you know, the one that had the biggest pile of poop on it. Um, now I did get the first pass with the shampooer, so I get the majority of the, you know, it off. Uh, but they're too small to really properly shampoo, so I'm just going to throw those in the wash. Uh, but I definitely wasn't going to throw them in my wash machine just straight like that. that that's just disgusting, but got most of it off. Now we're just going to continue on with the rest of the area. So you can see it is possible to clean up such a terrible mess like that. Not only get rid of the stain, the odor, um, but disinfect it all together. Now I don't wish that on anybody. Walking, uh, waking up, walking down the stairs and into that, that's, that's just whew, not the way I want to start the morning, right? But can be fixed. I want to reiterate, do test whatever soaps you're using on your shampoo in some inconspicuous area, okay? Um, now, 
my carpet and this rug here, uh, I think it has like mostly nylon and the polyester fiber. And so it, it doesn't even care about bleach. Bleach just makes it look pretty, okay? It makes it look bright again. It doesn't hurt it at all. It doesn't affect the color at all. I've got a red rug over there on the other side of the couch, which is sensitive even to regular carpet shampoo. Okay, and the red just bleeds through as I'm sham when I shampoo it. You gotta be really careful with that. So please, whatever you do, test it. Test it first before you just go and through a whole area and, and, and accidentally destroy something. Now, if you guys are wondering which shampooer I was using, this is the Big Green from Bissell. Um, and you, now, sometimes you can rent these from local grocery stores and uh, you can actually buy this yourself. So I do have Amazon links in the description down below. It does help support the channel if you use them. Um, I really recommend if you have kids and pets, to skip the cheaper models that you see like on the Walmart shelves, and maybe get something like this. It has the power to deep clean, to suck it back, as much moisture out of the carpet as possible, and a little bit of dog hair doesn't clog it up. It can just power through just about everything. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please share this video. Take a moment, subscribe to my channel. Check out the website, hundreds of more videos organized really, really well. You guys have a great day.